Run for the tank! In life! You have to give up! Run for the tank! All right, it's Inside the NBA presented by Kia, live from Studio J here in Atlanta. Ernie Johnson, Charles Barkley, Kenny the Jet Smith, and subbing for Shaquille O'Neal tonight, Lisa Leslie. Um, before we get into any highlights, Justin Timberlake, you know, he's a big Grizzlies fan. What? He put it out on social media at one point that if TNT was, would come and do a game in Memphis in the regular season, he would run camera at the game. He would be, he would be one of our cameramen. So, with this game scheduled, what did our folks at, at the NBA on TNT do? They, they tweeted this out. Hey, and, uh, Justin, uh, you ready to get to work on Thursday? Exactly. And he responded, as a matter of fact. Look at that, look at that nice credential they made for him, too. You all got jokes. Uh, I don't know who's trolling the Internet trying to play me with this throwback instinct. But remember, it's the same cut I had when I was knocking down jumpers in Kenny's oh, oh, who, can, who can forget oh, All-Star Weekend oh, in this celebrity oh, game? Oh, wow. I went right by him. Oh, that was oh. and one, and one. Go to the line. Get your buckets. Here it is. Look at, look at this. No, no, that was a – I was looking at this. Oh, and oh, watch oh. him talk to the Jet. Yeah. Right in his ear. Oh. Yeah, listen, man. Look, look, man. I'm going to tell you like this. I, I, Any time – any place, hey. any time, what? What? any what? place. Hey, since he, since he didn't use it tonight, here it is. Here is the credential. You can, I, prou you can proudly wear that if you'd like. Any time, any place. I will say that I did just notice he did bust you a little bit. But you went by him so fast. He is not a defender. <laughs> he's not a defender. <laughs> he's not but you know what I was doing. I'm guarding Moses Malone. I'm like, he's let him shoot. This is Moses that Malone. Is That's back in the day. Come on, man. Justin. Look at, no, See, look, I'm doubling Mo. I'm doubling big Mo, man. Yeah, with the follow through? Tina, <laughs> Tina couldn't handle Moses in there. I had to double, man. <laughs> I had to double, man. man. Then now he's going to brag because you're getting double team. That's like, <laughs> that's like me bragging, hitting seven threes against Orlando. They were doubling. Uh, one of the, the all-time great reaction shots from the Jets. Yeah, okay, uh, Spurs and Grizzlies playing tonight we're uh, show the highlights at the Grindhouse. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. So there's uh, the Greg Popovich and the Spurs ready to go, coming in 15 and four. But it was a it was a rocky start for San Antonio, and Pop was none too thrilled with the way the the Spurs were playing. And so in his first interview with Pop, since he's been sick, and Pop's been so great to Craig Sager, here was their interview after the first. Greg Pop, are we on? Yes, we are. I got honestly tell you, this is the first time. I've enjoyed doing this ridiculous interview we're required to do. And it's because you're here and you're back with us. Welcome back, baby. Well, oh, thank you very much. I laid in the hospital for months hoping to do this again. Now ask me a couple of inane questions. Okay, with less than four minutes to go in this game, you bench your entire, in the first quarter, bench your entire first unit. Was that back-to-back -back or upset with the way no, they played? No, they were playing like crap, so we put in different guys. You'd have done the same thing. You're shooting under 35%. Are you happy with the shot selection? Happy? No, you never. Am I happy? I've heard that before. Craig, come on, get back I'm to the swing of things. You too, baby. Love you. Just like old times with Greg Popovich and Craig Sager. That's just great to see. How about Tony Parker getting it going? Well, Tony Parker is doing what he usually does. He is such a great penetrator, and his ability to come off the pick and roll, he's always putting pressure on the defense. What? Get some at the net. And Tony does a terrific job of never giving up his dribble, Ernie. Yeah, and if it wasn't if it wasn't enough to have Tony Parker getting hot, how about Kawhi Leonard lighting things up? I, he is to me. You know, we, you're talking about being a better scorer this year, but I think he's a better athlete. I was talking in the back with the great Chico Robinson, and we were talking about how don't I, don't often have those words colliding. Athletically, he has changed his whole outlook. I, I think he's more athletic this year than when he came into the league. Well, I'm not sure about that, but he just stood one of the two or three best players in the entire world. Career high, seven three-pointers made in this one in his 27-point night, and San Antonio goes to 16-4 and four with that 20-point win over Memphis. Uh, so a team that comes in allowing 89 points a game allows a, only 83 to Memphis. And, and the other night they beat Milwaukee and allowed just 70. So that defensive blanket that uh, San Antonio is throwing on folks in full effect, they're 16 and 4. You've brought us out to the court here to talk about Tim Duncan. And, yes. I'm, and I'm looking at Tim's numbers. Six points, ten rebounds, five assists on the night. Well, yeah, it's an all-around game. And how can he survive at being this age? And I was we were talking in the back. Well, it's like, 
he might be able to play two more yeah. years if he's playing that way. But there's a reason he's playing like that. You know, you and can, now I'm explaining it, but you, go ahead. You can compare. Look at the situation that Tim Duncan is in compared to Kobe Bryant. The Spurs are the best organization. They're the Patriots of the NBA. You, they got, you got Tony Parker, who's an all-star point guard. You got Kawhi Leonard, who's going to be a superstar. And now you got LaMarcus Aldridge. And you look at Kobe Bryant. Tim Duncan can play and get six points, and they still win by 20. And Kobe Bryant does not have that luxury because the Lakers have been an awful organization. It's hey, hey, watch it now. Uh, uh, They're not an awful organization, but he doesn't have as much manpower to help support him. So his 13 or 14 points no, but, but least, look uh, terrible for Kobe. Because they're not drafting guys that like to, to help him. So you're thinking they should have took Okafor? You think he would have been a better help this year? Oh, probably, yes, no question. Even though the young kid, and let me say something, Mr. Okafor. He's a young kid. He's 19 years old. He said, I made some bad decisions. Got to get the kid a break because he's 19, but he's got to make smarter decisions. I'm glad that the Sixers are getting him some security because he's 19 years old. Right. And all these people, fans and media types are killing this kid. We're all stupid at 19. Yeah. I and did. we were, and we were not question. all rich question. and famous mm -hmm. at 19. So, yeah, he's made some mistakes. But let's don't bury the kid. Yeah, the one thing, you're 100% right. Everybody makes mistakes, but Mr. Okafor, Slow if you down. become a repeat offender, yeah. then you're a bad guy. Right now, you're just a good guy who made a bad mistake. But let me just say about Okafor, because this is my brother. After I pop him upside his head, I would say, where are his friends? Like, where are the homies that say... Oh, they was fighting, that, that too. Get him? I know, but this, <laughs> it was, was just a bad situation all around, because when you think about... Out of all the people in the street fighting, who has the most to lose? Yes. He oh, had the question. most to lose. Yeah, but at 19, you don't know that. Yeah, and, you do. And, and you don't know that when 19 you 19 friends who aren't changes. in the NBA, they really don't know it. And this is, uh, you, you can be an offender. In a different time, You Kenny. cannot be in a repeat offender. Kenny, we in a different time era where you don't understand the consequences of, of, of the cameras. There's video everywhere. He, not, but I you have to understand, Lisa, he's only been in the NBA a month. But you've been in the world for, yeah, but, you've seen what has happened. It, I just feel like history keeps repeating itself it, and young men have this opportunity to keep making these same mistakes. Whereas you can't learn from someone else's mistake yeah, and you, recognize well, this is the wrong thing to do. You can should. But like I say, and I thought Coach K had a great press conference talking about saying yeah. what an amazing kid he was. He's done some dumb things. But listen, we, we are in a different time. Yeah. Everybody has a video camera. But the biggest problem I have with the NBA today like, I looked at there's a, the oldest guy on his team who's actually playing the game is 23. Right. So there's no you, veterans. There's no veteran no leadership. leadership. He doesn't have a Moses Malone. You know, Reggie talked about the late, great Mel Daniels. You know, Kenny, had, uh, he got coached by one of my most famous people I love in the world, Bill Russell. Mm -hmm. And Kenny always tell this story when he coached Bill Russell, coached him in Sacramento. He says, Kenny was going to the back of the bus. He said, no, you can't sit back there. You can't sit back there. No. Tell him what he said. You no, know, you can't sit back there because see all those guys, him, him, right in their face, they're losers. They're perennial <laughs> losers. There you go. So they'll, you'll never learn how to win if you sit back there with them. Yep. So sit next wow. to me. All right. I love it. That's, that's the greatest deal. That's the story. Let's move on oh, now. Oh, we got time? Okay. Oh, it's all right. All right. Arnie, you're going to be Tony Parker. I'm going to be Tim Duncan. All right. I'll let Aren't you have the best. Oh, he's going to. Uh, you you do. Tim Duncan? I'm going to be Tim Duncan. You, you're going to be Kawhi Leonard because you're the best player right. on the oh, team. Okay, right. You're the best player on the Cause, team. Cause you just right. be a spur. All right? So <laughs> <laughs> you coming down. Kawhi, you am just, I on the wing? So Ernie's bringing the ball up court, and Tim Duncan is typically the last guy down. So you bringing it up yep. on the right side, walking it up. Tim is trailing the play. Now, Tim has two options. He usually is the catch and swing guy, or if you keep your dribble alive, Tony, Tony, he's going to set a pick and roll for you. You come off the sick pick and roll, because this keeps Tim Duncan from all the abuse of getting knocked around. So now, his man pretty much helps. You throw it over to Kawhi Leonard, now I'm posting up. And if I like it in there, if I'm, if I'm not there, I get it, and then I could have it and make some moves. But if I don't like it, Ka I, Kawhi just waves me out. So you wave me out, and then all of a sudden, I come back as I'm Tim Duncan, right back to the top, and I become another ball reversal. So he's never getting beat up going around. He passes again, and he throws it to that other spur, whoever it is. He's Now I come back, and then the shot clock's coming down. I might have an easier 
post move in the place. But Pop does a great job of making him a ball reversal guy. He brings him into a pick and roll. He posts him up all in one possession, typically on NBA team, guys. Uh, it, even you guys are the greatest post up players in your sport. Typically, you're going to post up on one play, and that's it. You're not posting, re ball reversal, and setting pick and roll that, in well, one right, possession. Kenny. I think that the best type of movement when they play in this motion, the reason why the Spurs are so consistently great is because it's all about defense and reads. They're reading the defense. And the fact that you're saying Timmy can start low, he can go high just to move the defense. Is that post player going to help out on, on Parker or are they going to stay back? If they help out, he's going to roll inside. The beautiful thing about the Spurs is that they're always moving without the ball, and the ball finds the open player. Without question. You said more smart stuff about basketball than Shaq has said <laughs> in, in three years. I don't. Uh, I, I, I think that was. I think that was uncalled for. When you hear that to a guy. That was called a shot. I love here. you, Shaq. These oh, guys tearing you up, though, bro. Okay. All right. So send. I'll have me, Justin. So I'm San Antonio like... rolls in Game Two of our doubleheader. Meantime, in Game One. D. Wade in the heat, Russell Westbrook and the Oklahoma City Thunder running down there at American Airlines oh, Arena. Jump. Man, that is jump. Westbrook. Don't jump. Ah, good. Five-point lead after one. And then most athletic player Hassan in Whiteside shows yeah. up. Oh, Russell Westbrook is the most athletic player in the More than LeBron, correct. More than, yeah, but LeBron just a freak of nature. Oh, oh, go get that end and the defensive end for Whiteside, the league leader in blocks and the nice pass. transition and Goran Dragic with the finish. This was a very entertaining game. What was that? What? Uh, that was an alley out of bounds. That. What was that? That's not a good pass. Durant didn't like uh, didn't like the move by Dragic. Thought he was almost undercut on that play. What's he supposed to do? Let him catch it. <laughs> Let him catch it and dunk it. I guess he's mad. That he's Durant got teed up. D. Wade made the free throw. One point game at the half. Oklahoma City up one. And now D. Wade. D. Wade. D. Wade looks like he got some years taken off. He's an exercise. He did his 30 oh. day challenge and he is ready to see. He played fantastic. Charles, let's do the 30 day challenge. Russell Westbrook, full throttle. 30 day challenge. Okay. 15 to 4 Thunder run. They're up 70 to 67. What's the 30 day challenge? How many fast food restaurants I can go to? No. In 30 days? No, but she needs to eat healthy, make clean choices, and work out. Oh, okay. Uh, next up, Lisa, we're on TV. We don't have to be in shape. Oklahoma City <laughs> up two after three. Deion Waiters gets the steal from Wade. Durant ahead of the pack. And at the same time, you saw that watch D Wade at the tail end of this play. He's going into the stand. No, he isn't, Ernie. Yes, he is. No, he isn't, Ernie. He's going up and over. He's going the over the stand. Oh, that's Ooh. impressive. Oh, no, boy. I don't think I've ever done that in my whole career. That's why he was able to do that. Last year, he would have fell. Do you have a nice. Oh, give me that. Candy. Mm. And then. 93-91 uh. Heat. Here comes the answer in a 93-92 game from Kevin Durant for three, and they're up two. D Wade. Loading in for the tying bucket. It's 95 each. And now Durant. Over Justice Winslow, but off the mark. Off the mark. You know, tough shot. I think he could have drove Winslow to the basket. But typically he does hit that shot as well. So it's probably not just as good, but almost. Oh, that's that's better. Way into the run. Yeah, he's taking it right to the hole. He gets fouled. He goes to the line, and D Wade knocks them both down. So a second and a half to go, and the heave by Westbrook will not go. And the Oklahoma City Thunder, who had won the last two over Miami and the last two in Miami, fall this time by a deuce, 97 to 95. Wade goes for 28. Bosch 16 and 8. Rogic gives him 14, 25 each for Durant and Westbrook. Not enough as they fall 97 to 95. Last four games you see for D. Wade. The last two, 58 points compared to 19 in the previous two before that. So uh, D. Wade and the Heat, as Chris Bosch said, look, I'm, you know, this team is playing better than I thought they would. They are now 11 and 6, Chuckster. You know, they have been the two surprise teams. Well, I don't think it's a surprise. I picked them in the top four. The surprise team in the East has been the Indiana Pacers. Right. Frank Vogt got those guys playing great. But this team here, uh, they're missing Lou L. Dang right now. We, 
they're the one team that you said could slip into that top four in the Eastern Conference. I think, and I've said all along, the key to them is going to be Whiteside because he can dominate the game on offense and defense. D Wade's going to play well. Bosch is going to play well. Drogic is going to play well. But the one guy who can make them scary is Hassan Whiteside. I don't well, think it's Whiteside. I think it's Drogic. I think he's the, the most important, the X factor, if you will. Because remember how great he played at Phoenix. He has yeah. not played that great for Miami Heat. The pick and rolls he used to be so effective on. And I think health, number one, is going to be key. For Miami, if they can stay healthy when it comes playoff times, I definitely think they have all the pieces with the veterans, yeah. new players, but, and experience, and all of those things coming together. I think that's what's going to help. Good point, Drogic is important, but I'm saying as far as this guy can go out and get a triple double, he can get you 20 points, he can get you 15 rebounds. Rim protection. He's averaging close to five block shots a game. He don't even have to really get any plays called for him. He can get 10 to 15 rebounds a night, block five shots a night. He can dominate the game without even scoring. Well, you know, he, he did a great job, but, you know, we'll, we'll talk about OKC as well. You know, their inability to kind of pull away in key moments uh, and their lack of ball movement is still the same consistent issue under Scott Brooks, under now uh, Billy Does Donovan. It it's kind of the same routine. And, and the one thing that I think that will separate them is – you know, they need to adapt what Golden State, what we saw San Antonio does is allow the ball to leave your best player's hand and, 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 and trust that it will find them again. But it doesn't seem like they allow the ball to leave their hands enough to trust that it'll come back. 38 lead changes, 11 ties in that game. It was a dandy, and Miami comes out on top by two. When we come back, more highlights, including the Raptors. Uh, <laughs> Any day. JT, I don't yeah, know. Hey, Penny, the Jet Smith coffee. I'm no cup of coffee, big fella. <laughs> I'm letting you know that right now. I love I'm this. no cup of coffee. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you're going to be crying. Hey, you're going to be crying a river. You're going to be crying a river. Keep talking, JT. <laughs> As I was saying, the Toronto Raptors, <laughs> Denver Nuggets highlights are on the way from Air Canada Center. You'll never believe what happened to the Raps at home tonight. Inside the NBA, presented by Kia, is brought to you by Kia, official automotive partner of the NBA. Well, Steve Smith loves to do those, uh, those Mount Rushmores, and now he's set his sights on the all-time coaches, and fans can build their own all-time coaches. No Red Allback? No Red Holtzman? No Pat Riley? No Pat Riley? Come wow. on, you gotta have Pat Riley. How about that, Smitty? See, that's why it's fun for the fans to do their own. Uh, Nuggets and Raptors playing at Air Canada Center, and Nuggets have lost wait. eight in a row. Here's I can't wait Arthur to get to my favorite three. city for All-Star. Yep, Darrell Arthur, they're banking in a three. He only had four this season, hit three in this game. Will Barton has been instant offense off that Denver bench, and he knocks that one down. They lead by as many as 18. Wait, just how can he be in the offense? They lost eight in a row. Oh, he's been. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's been. <laughs> Jokic. Because when they're down, they should just throw him the ball if he is not. I know. They're down too. Earn it, make it like he's just killing people. No, it's a team game. <laughs> oh, good class. Trying to tell me Will Barton hadn't played well. No, he has played well. Well, he has played yeah, well, but he definitely. still lost eight in a row. I know that. I pointed oh, that out. Now, this guy's played well. Highlight, well, in fairness, he was playing great. They probably would have lost ten in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Corey Joseph is playing well for the Raptors. Oh, uh, yes, he Hit is. a big shot the other day. Oh, that's an end foul. Mm. Oh, what's up right? with Toronto losing at home? I know, until a team has lost eight in a row. Oh, well, y'all gave up everything. We just, oh, Matt, Devlin, Matt Devlin was loving that last move. Well, he, he's getting an ugly sweater no, on. I know, Larry Joseph. That's, awful. That's my man. That's a good friend of mine, Leo Round. But now, look at his sweater's ugly. Luis Scola going to cut the gap down to 102 to 99. And then underneath, uh oh, the trap, and, and Barton loses the handle. Playing well, Ernie. And the Raptors have the ball back. A chance to cut it again. They had never had the lead in this game. I guess Will Barr don't know when three guys guarding you. There's two other people. <laughs> no, there's two other people. I said two. You said three. And uh, 
Kyle Lowry. They're begging for a foul. None coming. And the Denver Nuggets hang on to snap their eight-game losing streak in a game they never trail. 106-105 is the final. Uh, Gallinari had 21. Arthur with 19. They were led by Will Barton with 22. He's played well. And they beat the Raptors. That's an offense. On the road, 106 to 105. The Magic and the Jazz. Hey, the, uh, Gordon Hayward and the Jazz uh, team on the uptick. And Orlando has uh, picked it up as the a best, The best young team in the NBA. Orlando Magic. Utah Jazz. Oh, Utah Jazz, right? Okay. Yep. It's like, I like, ooh, it's good move right there. He gets a jumper. Well, that's a lot. Oh, my God. What is but, that? That's Alfred Payton's head. That he looks like the weekend. Oh, I thought that was the weekend. Yeah, he, uh, the weekend. Victor Oladipo, since they moved him to the bench, they are 5-0 and and put Channing Fry in the starting line. Oh, well, he got to stay on the bench. <laughs> no, that was no Rudy Gobert tonight for the Jazz, which was huge. No, yeah. out, out indefinitely with that MCL. Pops and hits. Meantime, who's the leading scorer for the Orlando Magic? Uh, I, we used to be Vucevic, but not anymore. Evan Fournier, the guy you saw right there, knocking down a couple of threes in the fourth quarter. Wow. The answer from Alex Burks. Good look. Got it. Wow. Got well, the best player is Vucevic. I don't know. I'm not sure why he hasn't hit the ball enough. Yeah. He's getting it right. Woman, I would have never thought the Magic would have beat the Jazz at home. Mm. Trying to break down Burks and, he and there's the Peyton glass. again, a 26 to 16 fourth quarter. What the hell, the Magic? Going What's going on with his hair, man? <laughs> you ever had a weekend? I know the weekend. That's him. That's but, his brother. It, <laughs> oh, he's, he, he's 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 the, <laughs> he's the days of the week. <laughs> That Come is, on, man. It's the days of the week. What is this, man? Monday and this Tuesday. Come on, Wednesday man. Wednesday and this Thursday. This Friday and Come on, Saturday. Man. We got to be days kidding Days of the man. week. That's five straight wins <laughs> for the Orlando Magic. They are 11 and 8. Second straight loss for the Jazz, and it happens at home. When we come back, my conversation with Kobe. Chuck, I think you should do something about that hair. That's uh, if I had a duo, I, I, I think I would take. Uh, more of a leadership role in, in talking to Shaq earlier before things went south. Uh, so young, all I was thinking about was the game. Saw the Heat win tonight against uh, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook in the Oklahoma City Thunder and on NBA TV Saturday. It's the Cavs in the Heat as LeBron comes back to Miami. Is they gonna do that handshake and all that stuff? Field. Get the coverage starting at seven o'clock. Are they gonna kiss like Eastern the Eastern time? Uh, the exit interview. <laughs> Players have them every year, meeting with the head coach to honestly assess the good and the bad of the just completed season. With Kobe Bryant announcing over the weekend that he will call it a career at season's end, I had a chance today to conduct an exit interview of sorts. Kobe's reflections on an unforgettable 20-year run. The announcement came this past weekend, but when did you know? I, I probably could have made the announcement as early as last season. And I said, you know, if, if, if unless something changes, next season is going to be my last season. And then finally I realized, I said, what, well, you can't make this decision based off of something changing. This is something that's internal. Do you want to do this or not? And if the answer is no, then that passion is no longer there the way it used to be. So just let it go. So there's nothing that could change your mind at this point. There's Zero. no, there's no streak of success or no zero when we hear words like one word descriptions of you i would say competitor who's on your short list of best competitors you've faced um michael jordan alan iverson are the two that come to mind immediately uh because they were just they were relentless now michael his relentlessness was amazing and scotty's as well both ends of the floor and then you know, in my generation, AI was much the same. I mean, from opening tip to the end, I mean, this guy was just going and going and going, and he'd always put you in jeopardy. So those two guys are the most competitive I faced. Who came the closest to being the Kobe stopper? Uh, the Kobe stopper. Well, <laughs> the, 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 the player I always had the most trouble with individually was always Tony Allen. 
always. Um, you know, Bruce Bourne was a great defender. See, that was the name that was on my tongue, and yeah. but Tony Allen. No, Bruce was a great defensive player. Uh, Rajah Bell was a great defensive player. Uh, Even though he was just that kid, who is that kid? Yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't know at the time. <laughs> I, mean, you know, I found out, but I didn't, I didn't really know. Now, if you were going to write letters to the three most influential people in your life, who would they be to? What would they say? Well, from a basketball perspective, um, I would say I, I'd, I'd write one to Michael, Bill Russell, and Jerry West. Saying what? Uh, saying thank you uh, for your mentorship. Uh, thank you for always being there for me when I reach out and call. If you were having a conversation, you at 37, and I'm Kobe at 18, what would you tell the young well, Kobe? I, I would say focus on, on human nature. Uh, you, know, you have to balance out understanding human nature with uh, the obsession to understand the exact tactics of basketball. And as I've gotten older, I understood you can, be, you can execute till the cows come home, but if you don't understand human nature, if you don't understand how to relate to others, if you don't understand what makes them tick, you're never going to win a championship. For those five championships, are you able to rank them? Are you able to say this one was more significant to me, or this one meant more, or this one was more special? How do you, how do you rank them? I, I think the standard answer should be no. I, they're I just like kids. They're all, they're all the special same. in their yes. own way. But that's just not true. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. the ball, the, when we beat Boston in, in, in 2010, that for me that's number one with a bullet because going up against uh, you know three sure Hall of Famers, um, being down the series three two having lost to them in 2008 and understanding the history and the rivalry and all that goes on there and um, having a broken finger and playing with a cast on. All of those things make that championship uh, more special than the rest. When you do hang it up here at the end of the year and you're one shy of that number six, yeah. is that going to eat at you? No. I did everything I possibly could. and, and um, it sounds crazy to say I won five championships and come up one short. Um, but honestly, I'm okay with that. It just wasn't in the cards for me to get six or seven, you know? But I did everything possible to try to make it happen. And I can live with that any day. If you could have a do-over in your career, what would it be? If I had a do-over, I, I, I think I would take uh, more of a leadership role and, and talking to Shaq earlier before things went south. How did you mend fences with Shaquille, with Phil Jackson? Mm -hmm. Or is that still in process in ways? No, that process is it's over with. The memories that we had were the memories that we had doing battle of us against the world. You know what I mean? And coming out on top. And when you have those moments, you, you, you form, you forge this type of bond. Right, that becomes bigger than the game, becomes bigger than whatever bickering might have gone on. So I think that was the first step. And then the second step was just maturity. I mean, we were both much, much older than we were at the time. And with Phil, when Phil came back to coach in 2006, um, that was our process. We started that from the first day he came here. When he came back and said, you know what, I want to come help you get these next championships. And I said, Phil, it is not my job to judge or to hold grudges. Um, I understand more than most people that people make mistakes and we move on. What do you think you're gonna miss the most? I think, I think the, uh, the, 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 the puzzle of trying to figure out how to get the best out of my teammates. The challenging of them uh, the relationship, relationships I have with them, and then watching them develop from training camp all the way in through the postseason and then into the finals where they're the best version of themselves. You know, that, that, that process is, is the thing that I'll miss the most. You see yourself being a TV guy? Um, I, I, no. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I just, I don't know if I have the patience to do TV. Doesn't require much. No. Charles, Kenny. Yeah. Me, Which, you and Shaq side by side. It'd be I so mean, warm and fuzzy. You, you know what's crazy to me is, you know, looking at Charles, you're looking at a transition of a player from, you know, athlete 
to post. I mean, he's certainly a blueprint. And he found what he loves to do and what he's great at, and he loves doing, and there you are. If it does intrigue you, I mean, when could you start? Can we just get an agreement here today? Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. We, 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 can have, we can have some type of agreement. We'll shake on it. We'll shake on it. I'll do 60% of revenue split. All right. On the show. We, we, Excuse we, me, we let go of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, uh, that was a fun time. He was, um, you know, I, he's totally at peace with, with this decision, to, that this is it, that, he, uh, that uh, 20 years is enough. Well, your body gives out. 20 years is enough. The thing that's interesting to me, you know, and people always want to ask you about certain players, uh, I've watched a couple of Kobe's interviews. That one, obviously, I'm glad he's finally letting people know he is a good guy. Because people always want to, I says, I says, Kobe Bryant has always treated me great. Always says hello. I say hello, but I don't know him. Never really spent any quality time. I says, he seems like a good guy, but he is so guarded. I actually think it's really cool. I saw him do interview the great Robin Roberts, and I saw him do that with you. He, he, like I say, he's obviously one of the 10 greatest players ever, but I wish he had to let people get to know him better the last 20 years. Well, well you know him. I know him very well. I've spent time with, at Kobe's house with his parents when they first moved to L.A., but the thing I can tell you, Charles, of why he's guarded is because you don't want people to know your weaknesses, and your weaknesses are sometimes personal things, whether it's your ability to communicate or not communicate. And the fact that he was so driven and focused on basketball, basketball was his true love and passion. And I was kind of the same type of player where it's tough for me to let down my guard and let you see me be silly, let you see me be something that I thought you could use against me when you're on the court. And I think Kobe was that same way, very guarded. Kobe has always been a great guy, funny. He, uh, he loves to laugh, outgoing, but very guarded because that was part of his you know, if you will, the, the thing that made you wonder, what about him? Where is his weakness? He didn't have any because he loved basketball so much that he was trying to find ways to beat you. But the hard part that I see right now, I love the fact that he's being transparent and honest and letting you know he wish he could have had that relationship different with Shaq because we all saw it go bad and thought, wow, what could have happened if yeah, he would have yeah. won more? For him to even tell you who the best defenders were for him, Kobe would have never let you know who he who bothered him back in the day playing defense. He's like, there's no such thing as a Kobe stopper. That would have been his answer three, four, five years ago. And the last thing I like to say is just the maturation that he's had in life. I mean, we've seen Kobe come in as a young kid and he had a chip on his shoulder and he had all this confidence that you thought and we all saw it was even cocky where you thought, you know, I mean, I don't really like this dude. But you always could say as a competitor, he was one of the best. And well, obviously I'm biased being in L.A., but I love Kobe. <laughs> and you've been to his house and ate his food. But uh, <laughs> none of us have. But you know, the, the one thing you know, that you talked to Becca Hammond, too. No question. He's just name dropping all night. Oh, all night. you, you know, know. What can I say? You know, women have to show up and do a job better than a man and get the spot. So I, you know, I have to do my homework. All right. Well, you know, the funny thing is, you know, when, when my first, when I first heard about it, the thing I thought of, was air ball to clutch shots. Like a guy who used to shot air balls in the, in the playoffs. Comes four back, of them against Utah. Four yeah. of them, and then makes game winners consistently. You know, to me, that was the, the biggest thing. And I, I don't know him well, but I, I have spun, spent twice pretty much quality time. That I, I think you, you missed, you, you, you missed the date, the, the, the time he came in here, uh -huh. and he was a guest in here, and he spent three, four Oh, we had a great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you get to... I was, you know, I'm like, I might not get this opportunity. I'm picking his brain. And the second time was when I'm um, doing the Hurricane Katrina game, and I called him to ask him to play in the game. And then the, I, I've been around Jordan because we played together in North Carolina, and the competitive nature that he had, Michael had, and we, you always say, how do you compare it? The one thing I remember, this is a charity basketball game for Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> and we're going around and we're giving out all of the different uh, items and to the shelters and we're all there. So all of the players get back in the, in the van, you know, Kevin Garnett, LeBron James, you know, Kobe, us is the best player in the world. I'm like, hey, guys, you know, so I appreciate everything. Kobe gets up. He said, hold on. I just want you to know I'm going to bust your butt if you don't come play tonight. 
This was a charity yeah. game for Hurricane. We just gave out. He was so, he had just changed his whole demeanor and got focused. And you talk about that guard to let them know that I'm still an alpha dog yeah. on this bus. Always. And yeah. letting people know that. To me, that just it was a couple things that just made you go. Yeah. He's different. Yeah. It's been an He's honor. Different. It's been an honor and a privilege to watch him play. Without question. Yeah. It's been an honor and a privilege. Uh, when we come back. Shaq is not here. Thank God. But Shaq and a fool is. How do we pull that off? Stick around and you'll find out. All right, y'all. Think back to the late 90s. Remember, wow. remember Alphabet Aerobics by Black Alicious? No, I don't. No. You don't? Uh, years later on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, Daniel Radcliffe performed it, and it got 50 million YouTube views. I don't even remember the uh, song. Well, Bleacher Report got Black Alicious back in the studio, okay. and the result was a sports remix of Alphabet Aerobics they're calling Sports Alphabet. Wow. Now it's time for our wrap-up. Let's give it everything we've got. Ready? Alley, 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 you born amateurs. Air above all in any actors, it's average. Big barbarian, basically beasting. Fighters get blown up, being brave B teams. Casually, I chef cash cheddar. Fools get casualties and caught off guard with him music. Dirty when I drop dimes, damaging the dang earth. Devastate the defense, detonate danger. Entertainer entertaining everyone. Every mass enemies is envious, ain't even peep the elbow pass. Fire on fuego, flick of the wrist, frozen. Fear of the fury left flat. And then frozen gloves off for the glass jaws by the goons go to ball goats gone giddy getting through human joystick heating up heat check glam hitting hard hella hype hero going ham i'm isolated on islands it's over it's over ice in your veins getting colder jerk jock jerk to those who aren't worthy jamming through my journey in a tech black jersey king kong of ko's kid kiss the ring knuckle up now with the knuckle butt king let me live a long life leading with my laces out right now we'll just look up cause it's lights out my move marvelous money shot massive Main event, moonshot, MVP master Nails in the coffin, knots in their knees, triumph Nothing leg through the knees, nothing but nylon Opposition off on the ropes in the octagon One, two, punched out, lights going off and on Pillow pick passes, a prolific poetry Power plays, big pocketing, petty phony Quest for the cup, this quantum, y'all quote me Quiet off, put it, fill it, quantum, we're quarreling Raw ring, side rise, relish and remain Rallying, rough rated, rhymes, make it rain Switching on, simple soft, suckers, fist swag Slice, dice, shimmy, nothing but nest blast Turked up, taking out, Tim and Mars, twister Leave them turned out, they are trucks, no victims, unstoppable Upstate, uninvolved, unanimous, universal year of the underdog, vicious and vital. Victory's calling, volley all out, victorious velocity, bobbing we will while receiving words woven. Moonwalk when I will get the world open. Excelling, extreme, extra explosive, accelerating, exile competition so quick. Yolo pass, rhymes, y'all, young bucks fall. Yoga stretch, my yelling, yiggy, yes, y'all. Zero, 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 on the clock, game's over, zoom into the Dean, the zero hours in my zone, zoning. <laughs> Good. Can you say it faster? Faster? You can, you can check that out on Bleacher Report. Does that impress the Chuckster? Uh, Do you know what you just saw? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't get it. It's like the, the new millennials in uh, this time. Uh, I, uh, tell I, me that, love, Leslie. Like, what was and, that And about? I love Bleacher Report. You're, so, you're sounding more like a mother of two with I every do. segment. I do. I know. I'm like, I'm so out of the loop. I, 50 million <laughs> views on that? No, there, oh, there were 50 one. million views when Daniel Radcliffe did the other one on, on oh, Fallon. Oh. Right. Uh, the the original yeah. alphabet so like all day I B C and these yeah, dogs everything's eating. yeah everything everything followed the alphabets in order yeah, 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 exactly yeah, yeah. Oh, okay there you go um, um, every 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 rapper it. in the 1980s I think did something like that <laughs> right. I, I'm just I'm just saying. <laughs> so, and that's a hit because I never heard Jay Z do the you know I mean, alphabet uh, yeah. well he rap. did 22 twos so it's almost the same kind well of I, I I did that 101 problems I missed that one okay, well <laughs> now well now uh, right. Shaquille O'Neal is not here Lisa Leslie is, um, but the guy responsible for Shaq and a Fool this week, I guess, would be you, Jet. You're, uh, you're handling Shaq and a Fool. Yeah, I'm going to handle Shaq and a Fool because you know Shaq is a fool, and um, I just want to keep him in his place as a fool. All right, great. So this is this Shaq is called uh, it, Hotels.com no, is going we're to uh, uh, that my man Captain Obvious. Sponsor it again. Hey, Captain Obvious. It's not Shaq and a Fool. It's not Shaq and a Fool. What's up, Shaq? Uh, that was awesome. It's Kenny in a round.
What's Kennying around? I guess uh, ain't nobody Kennying around. It's like kidding it's like around? Like around. Well, number one, James Harden. Two pieces of evidence oh. that James Harden might be the worst, that's what Shaq says, the worst defender in basketball. <laughs> the worst defender. Here it is. Well, I made all defense. Here it is again. Here it is. Great defense position. James Harden. Oh! What, what is he doing? Rebounding is a part of defense. Number two. And here he is back on the charts. Dion Wade is the gift that keeps on slipping. Oh, my. <laughs> he keeps on. Yo, you got to get another, another shoot contract or something. I don't know. This is the second time he's doing this. Dude, they need to clean the floor. Oh, I hope it's saying his name correctly. But number three, he's always. Oh, in this it. guy Marcelo is. Marcelo Hurtas. Oh, he's doing the rondo, but he got rejected. <laughs> he's doing the rondo. Boy, everybody bought that face, didn't they? Did they sell it? Oh, oh, my God. Is he a Laker? Marcelo yeah. Hurtas. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, my oh. man. Number four, Shane Larkin, University of Miami. Oh, LeBron James takes the basket. He said, You take it out. No, I'll take it out. No, you take it out. No, I'll take it out. No, you take it out. That's a fire. <laughs> what are you doing? That was, cl that was close to what we saw last no, you take year. It out. No, I'll take it out. No, you take it out. No, I'll take it out. No, you take it out. No, that's a violation. <laughs> oh, Mike that's Scott. Oh, great Scott. Here's another one. Now, you think that only Shane Larkin could do something like that? No, but no, that Mike, Mike Scott, Scott was like, no, let's just bring it up. We're in the park. My ball, take it out. Here <laughs> Mike goes. Let's go. Let's run. Let's get it going. Oh, we're in the NBA. I'm sorry, Mike. Number six, Rodney Hood, Utah Jazz. Give Steven Adams the easiest shot block in the history of shot block. <laughs> In the history of shot block. This might be the Why easiest shot block in the history. <laughs> Get that fly out of here. Get that fly. Uh, Number seven, the king. No way. Yes, the king. When you're the king, I guess you could just go to the bench illegally, just sit sit down. Wait, you don't what? have to do it. Game's still going on. I'm <laughs> subbing myself in Rich Richard Jefferson. Go in. Oh, it's four against five. That's illegal. <laughs> you only got four plays on the court. I don't care if you have six, you have four, you get a technical foul. LeBron James, I just do what I want. I'm the king. Right. <laughs> and oh, this, this is a super-sized shack. Let's stay man. in Cleveland. Wow. Matthew Delavanova. He comes in. He, he travels way back to Australia. Now, let's count the steps. Right? Let's put it in slow motion, Shaq. Here we go. I mean, uh, Chuck, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hey. Hey. Come on, rep. Wake up. He's like, no, I thought I was open. I thought I was open. Come on, Anthony. He's in the travel business, too. But he's on a world tour. He's on a world tour with my Muhammad, my man. Wait, what? <laughs> he's on a world tour. Those are little tour baby steps. Muhammad, my man. No, those are baby steps. They still count on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> oh, 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 even more than Della Vadova. And half man. And he's just half man now. No more amazing. Oh. Vince Carter saving the best for last. Finally, he can match Kendrick Perkins as his pivot. Wait, what? Change <laughs> 20 times in one possession. Again, one, two. Oh, change the flip again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh! oh and he gets man. to the rim. We have a new leader in the clubhouse. Oh. New leader in the clubhouse. Wow, wow that man. is. Uh, that wow. is super sized right there. I like that though. Gotta wash that down with a shack <laughs> soda. No, I oh like no, shack soda. I'll be up all night. That black shot was <laughs> it. Well, that's sugar. That was that was excellent. That was excellent work. I thought maybe you were gonna do your shack voice and try to. Well, I, I do. Uh, just give the ball to big man. Mm -hmm. Look at Carmelo. Look at Carmelo. I, I don't understand why Dwight Howard can't get 30 points and 35 rebounds. Just get the ball to your big man. Let him dominate. <laughs> no, no. Uh, don't don't say hack a shack. No, don't oh, say oh, hack a oh, shack. Oh, don't take hack. Just say hack a player. I hit mine when it count. And then do this. Yes. No, but also. Hey, wait, call, wait. Call me Doctor Doctor O'Neill. Shop, no, no, championships. <laughs> <laughs> I got twelve degrees. I got Rings. twelve championships. We'll be Rings. back to wrap it up on inside. I don't in just a minute. <laughs> There's still some more show to go. Go <laughs> leave. Family yeah, sure you can leave in a little while, like but not yet. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes Aaron's staying with us. Who's Mariana Rivera? Yeah. Really Chuck, I'm <laughs> Chuck, I'm gonna come over there. I'm gonna Chuck, come on, I'm gonna come over there, Chuck. Make one more laugh, one more time, Kenny. I'm gonna laugh one more time, Kenny. Inside the NBA, presented by Kia, is brought to you by Kia, official automotive partner of the NBA. The Kia Performance Award winners, uh, Steph Curry, Player of the Month, October, November combined, and Paul George gets it in the uh, Eastern Conference. Steph, you know, that 
you know, Lisa, you know what I like to say about, about him. He what makes like it, he makes it look effortless. But I'll tell you what, Paul George is playing <laughs> amazing right now. He also sometimes makes it look easy. Oh. Uh, no, yeah, pay attention to Paul, Paul George. George is looking like a little By right George, there. I think he has it, Ernie. Yeah, Paul, oh, I saw what you did there, Jay. Yeah. Uh, the top rookies, Carl Anthony Towns, Cat there in Minnesota. New and West. the Zinger in New York. Zinger is balling. The Zinger is balling, man. Carl Anthony Towns, I have not seen you play but a couple times. <laughs> Don't watch bad teams play. That is funny. The Zinger is amazing. Yeah. Well, let's see what uh, what happened with uh, with Paul George and the Pacers uh, taking on the Blazers. Uh, you like his part, <laughs> Moda Center. What's yeah. up with that? Ooh, oh, okay. Good, some that? get some. Mm. But he was just four for seventeen in the game. Yeah, the last two games he hasn't shot the ball particularly well, but he still helped his team last game at least to victory. They are surprising people in the Eastern Conference. Well, they won six in a row and they're twelve and five coming in. Uh, Monte Ellis left the game with a right shoulder contusion and didn't come back. Portland scored 41 in the third quarter. How many, Ernie? 41. Oh, because this dude puts buckets in the basket right there, but he made a great pass here. Oh, here is Leonard. Leonard shooting threes again. And now here's for something the Pacers did not want to see. It's been such a great year for Paul George uh, coming back from the... Well, you know, you, right this is when you have respect. Look at all five with, guys on Portland, yeah. Ernie. Look at him. They don't go and play defense. They make sure he's all right. What's the injury, Ernie? He banged knees with El Farouk Aminu. He went to the bench, but he would return later. Blazers 18 for 36 from deep, Lisa. Oh, that's cash. He ain't missing two in a row. That kid puts buckets. Lillard, I mean, he just doesn't even get enough credit because of what Curry is doing, but don't sleep on his three-point ball. Well, they haven't won 20 in a row, Lisa. And then Allen Crabb knocks down. I'm just saying he's shooting great, but Steph just got all the news locked up. No I hate, question. At least I hate to say this, but Kenny has a point. <laughs> CJ Miles with the left handed three. 111 107. But again, Allen Crabb. Crab. Crab. Crab had a career high. He had 18 points, 11 of those in the fourth quarter. California's Blazers. finest, Allen Crabb. At home, they uh, snapped her two game losing streak. They had lost 10 out of their last 13, but they win this one. And uh, hey, what? Lillard goes for 26, McCollum goes for 21. CJ Miles is balling too. Balling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's on three-point fire. Six-game winning streak snapped for the Pacers. We go to Mexico City for the, uh, the NBA Global Game. Buenos Aires, my favorite spot in Mexico. We need to wait for this one on DVD, guys. Isaiah Thomas. I'm going to Sacramento next week. For what? I'm doing the game. Oh, okay. You won't be here next week? No, I won't. What? Shaq, why don't you and Shaq Peter miss on the same night? <laughs> and, uh, I'm going I'll to go, let you, girl. I'm going to go visit my favorite school out there, Mustard Seed. Okay. What's okay. going on? Uh, DeMarcus Cousins. I'll see all the kids at Mustard Seed next week. Hey, DeMarcus, DeMarcus must have drank the water. <laughs> <laughs> Two for 12. <laughs> At the half you know, for DeMarcus <laughs> Cousins. I know. Don't can't drink, drink water and don't put any ice in your drink. You can't do it out the faucet. Uh, Avery, I I we got a little wider on this shot. Avery Bradley for three. I want y'all remember that when I'm in Rio this summer at the Olympics. And then Rondo, yeah, Rondo. playing against his old team and uh, picked up a couple tees and then was uh, shown the Rondo floor. was like, put me out. Stop the bleeding. I wanted to beat Boston and we didn't. So. Yeah. Yeah. Five points. Adios. Five points, three you know rebounds, he and eight. He wants to beat his old team badly. Mm. So give me oh, some give of that. Me some, yeah. Give me some Kelly Olenek. I love these uniforms. He travel. Yeah, he did. He I, travel. I love oh, those I'm uniforms. Omega. Which one's the Boston's? Yeah, I love that green. Uh, the Celtics all over the Kings. 114 to 97. Had four guys with at least 20. Crowder, hard, Bradley, hard Thomas, win. and Olenek. Hard to win when you suck in both countries, Ernie. That's well <laughs> said and a great way to say it's that time. <laughs> it's time for DJ's Nino Sound Night. Presented by Star Wars Battlefront. Well, tonight's Nito stat of the night has a distinct Kobe Bryant flavor. Um, I'm going to test your knowledge here. Do you have any idea how many 40-point games you've had in your career? No idea. Um, no clue. 30, maybe? 
40? 30, 40 point games? I don't know. How about 121? Oh, I was a little off. Yeah, I just... oh, I didn't go college. Okay. <laughs> See what happens? Here's the, <laughs> but here's the deal. I'm going to hear the list of our TNT and NBA TV analysts. Charles and Shaq and Kenny. Isaiah, Reggie, Weber, Grant Hill, Dennis Scott, Steve Smith, Brent Berry, Rick Fox, and in the studio tonight we have Lisa Leslie. You think of all those folks mm -hmm. combined, how many 40-point games or more do they have? Think of that list. You're sitting on 121. 30? 25? Combined. Combined. That's what I would say. I don't even remember Reggie scoring too many for. I know he had a lot of 30s in there. And Shaq? Shaq I remember Shaq having, when he was with us, he, he had a couple 40 point games. There's the scoreboard. 10, 20. There's the scoreboard. Oh, 104. Does that surprise you? Hold though? on, let me see that list. Yeah. yeah. Charles, Kenny, Shaq, 3D. I remember G. Hill had a lot of 40 point games. I, I right. think Shaq had the most. Shaq 49. had the most. He had 49. 49. Shaq himself had 49. Yeah. That shows you how much of the history I know. But you had more than that whole group That's combined. Cool. Well, at least it did have a 100-point game, though. Yeah. That's, that counts for something. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Anybody on here did not score 42? Uh, Brent Berry, I do not believe, had a 40-pointer. I don't think Rick Fox had a 40-point game. Kenny had a 40-point 40, 40 game? Does that stun you? No, you know, actually, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You'll it doesn't. enjoy this. No, it doesn't stun me, actually. With, with the, the system in which they played and him, him being able to get hot, um, it doesn't stun me. And you know where my 40-point game was? In L.A. against the Lakers. Wow. No now, way. Yes, it was. My 41 came against the Lakers, Kobe. Come on, man. I'll tell you what. That's a shocker. That is a shocker. That is a shocker. That is an amazing stat. It's actually a neato stat that of the night. That is cool, but why did they just, why'd you just pick 40 points? Because 101 points, I mean, that was... Lisa. Was that college or that was... That don't about, matter when it was. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. I had more 40 point games on. in high school hey, now. Hey, Lisa, as I told you earlier, what? I would have won championship. I would have played <laughs> with the girls, too. Hey, <laughs> you better not. I'm going to have were, all the women do, get, get on right. them. Do girls didn't... On Twitter. Do y'all no, play... Don't, don't, no. don't in the girls' league, like, only one half plays defense, one half plays... Shut up, Kenny. I'm sorry. Is this any way to thank Lisa Leslie for sitting in? Yes, it is. Wait, this is all good. Don't sleep with my Jokes are love, baby. In my rings. Hey, Whoa. Way, we do we do have a little okay. gift. We do have a little gift for you. Okay. It comes it comes uh, courtesy of Shaquille O'Neal. Roll it. Oh no. Jenkins. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> Jenkins. Get it. <laughs> Jenkins. Oh, <laughs> this dude, this all he has. Ew, Jenkins. Hilarious. That's all he does, man, is make me. Oh, I oh <laughs> wish Lisa Leslie would replace Charles Barkley. Oh, wow. No, I was the guy. No, we got another. See, what's that? It's already better interjected. Oh, my this. gosh. It's good. I'm telling Look you, Lisa, this. you're just making it world win oh, right I now. Oh, I know. This is sad. In 15 minutes, at first, it's like, <laughs> more value than all episodes. <laughs> oh, come wow. on, man. Oh. They're going hard. Oh, my gosh. You guys are so lie. bad. Don't say that out there in Twitter world. No. You're not going to have me back. Okay. No, we got to have you back if they say that. Been great. Thanks, thanks for Been great. Big thanks to Chuck for it. Chuck was the reason how I got to this desk, guys. Hey. Oh, <laughs> you can dancing with the stars. Uh, I made it. A perfect ten. <laughs> I, I think you two could only be the two partners. Too. Right. You got that the partner. Those five, five guys, guys they have on thanks, that show. Guys. That is thanks, a wrap Kenny. for Inside, presented by Kia for Kenny for Charles. Release a list. There was some Ernie tweet Trump. saying that she was better than you too, Ernie. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> From Atlanta. She's better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it open. Made it like it was just us. Thanks, guys. Uh, awesome. That was fun. <laughs>